What is Lacolith? A lacolith is a geological feature that forms when magma is injected into the Earth's crust and then spreads out laterally, forming a dome-shaped intrusion. These formations are typically found in areas with thick layers of sedimentary rock, such as mountain ranges and volcanic regions. The process of lacolith formation begins when magma is injected into the Earth's crust through a conduit or fissure. As the magma spreads out laterally, it encounters layers of sedimentary rock and begins to push them upward, forming a dome-shaped intrusion. Over time, the magma cools and solidifies, forming a dome-shaped mass of igneous rock. The overlying sedimentary rock is often uplifted and tilted at the edges of the lacolith, creating a characteristic bell-shaped geometry. One of the most famous examples of a lacolith is the Henry Mountains in Utah, USA. This range is home to several large lacoliths that were formed during the Eocene period, around 40 to 60 million years ago. Lacoliths are important geological features because they can have significant economic value. For example, they are often associated with the formation of mineral deposits such as copper, gold, and silver. In addition, lacoliths can also have important implications for geothermal energy production. The heat generated by the magma can be harnessed to produce electricity, providing a source of renewable energy for local communities. Overall, lacoliths are an important part of the Earth's geological history and have a wide range of practical applications. By studying these formations, scientists can gain insights into the processes that shape the Earth's crust and the potential resources that lie beneath its surface. How is lacolith formed? Lacoliths are formed by the injection of magma, or molten rock, into the Earth's crust. This magma is typically less dense than the surrounding rock, so it rises through the crust along pre-existing fractures or weaknesses in the rock. As the magma moves through the crust, it encounters layers of sedimentary rock, which can be several kilometers thick. The magma may be hot enough to partially melt the overlying rock, causing it to become more ductile and deformable. At this point, the magma begins to spread out laterally, forming a lens-shaped or dome-shaped intrusion. The overlying sedimentary rock is pushed upward and may be deformed and uplifted, creating a characteristic bell-shaped geometry. Over time, the magma cools and solidifies, forming an intrusion of igneous rock. The thickness of the intrusion can vary, from just a few meters to several kilometers. In some cases, multiple lacoliths may be stacked on top of one another, creating a more complex geological structure. The formation of lacoliths can have a significant impact on the surrounding landscape. As the magma rises and spreads out, it can push up overlying layers of sedimentary rock, creating hills or mountains. In some cases, the uplifted rock may be eroded away, leaving behind only the harder, more resistant igneous intrusion. Lacoliths can also have important economic implications. They are often associated with the formation of mineral deposits, such as copper, gold, and silver. The heat generated by the magma can also be harnessed to produce geothermal energy, providing a source of renewable energy for local communities. Overall, the formation of lacoliths is a complex geological process that can have important implications for the Earth's crust and its resources. By studying these formations, scientists can gain valuable insights into the processes that shape our planet and the potential applications of these geological structures. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.